hospitals. One place torture is considered for your own good. If their experiments ever succeed in restoring a person's sanity, they better hope it was at the expense of the person's memory. Ready? Relax, we're out of the graveyard. And into crazy town? A big improvement. People who see things nobody else can see end up living here. Not that crazy. Come on. <sighs> okay. I'll help you get inside, but... But what? Look, if we're gonna ask this girl Iris about this contract, the asking needs to be done by a living person, right? Just remember who opens the door for you, tough guy. Yeah, yeah. All right, kid. You're up. I just find a way to get Iris's room number. Um, hi. I need your help. I'm looking for a friend. Visiting hours are over. Right. But, but, she was with the cops. Then go talk to the cops. See, I, I did, and, and they said that she was a danger to herself, and... I can't help you. All right. We just need to stall her, okay? We have to figure out what her weaknesses are. Maybe these things on her desk will help us. He's most likely a man of imposing size and stature. Someone who's accustomed to violence. Heinous acts in his past define him to the point where he no longer knows who he truly is. Wondering if you're okay. You're all I have left. Just like this girl's friend is all she has left. Sorry. I know how hard it can be when someone depends on you. What's your friend's name? Iris. Uh, Iris Campbell. Yes. It looks like your friend Iris is here. Everything's gonna be okay. Thanks. I, I feel better. Kid, I got this. Just need to get my eyes on her computer screen. She's in room 216. We gotta find it quick, Joy. She's scheduled for electroshock. All right, kid. Coast is clear.
Iris is due for shock therapy in 15 minutes. Like, fry your brain shock therapy? Oh shit. Oh shit is right. Let's get moving. <laughs> Another camera. Get on it. Slip under doors, little cracks. It's all just concentration, discipline. I have time to practice. See that camera? I'm not as invisible as you point out. The thing to understand about Mrs. Gwynn is that her father was to become violently angry when she was walking in front of the TV. I, I don't see what that has to do with any kind of anger, but particularly male anger, is really a trigger point for her. So I realized that dealing with this communication and they're less responsive. Go away! You're up again, kid. I need to possess you to get past this crap. Nope. Oh, I hate that. Or you can just go on. Totally alone in here. <gasps> Fine. You know what these hands are? Lost souls, I guess? Just seems like the opposite of moving on. Or at least the opposite of moving on you're trying to do. Get to Iris' room. No, no. We stick together. Joy, we don't have a choice. Now, I'll meet you there as soon as I figure out a way around this. Go! Go! 